Hey everybody, Max here for IGN Access. We are at CES 2019 at the Dell Experience, and I'm here with Frank Azor, who is the VP and General Manager for Alienware, who just revealed the Area 51M, and this is something very special that you guys are showing off here. It is very special. This is an incredible product. It's the most powerful gaming notebook in the world. We put an incredible amount of performance in here. Desktop processors, so you get a ninth generation Intel Core i9, 9900K processor. That's a full desktop 95 watt processor that we allow you to overclock to 119 watts. Then we married that with the latest NVIDIA RTX 2080 GPU graphics card. And it's a full max performance graphics card, not one of the thinner, lighter, max Q type of GPUs. And we allow you to overclock that all the way up to 180 watts. On top of the performance though, you're able to upgrade both the CPU and the graphics card. We created our own graphics module so that folks will be able to update and change their graphics over time. 64 gigabytes of memory are supported as well, four DIMM slots, you can change the storage devices. And then check out this design. This is our brand new Alienware Legend design. It's the first time in about six years that we introduce a brand new design. And what you'll see is it's very different than any Alienware product you've seen up to now. In terms of ports, you have HDMI display port over here, a 2.5 gigabit, gigabit per second ethernet right here. The Alienware graphics amplifier port, so over time you'll be able to use our graphics amplifier, plug it into that, and upgrade to any desktop graphics that are coming out in the future. That is the guaranteed future-proof way of, of uh, ensuring that you'll be able to get GPU upgrades out of this. Dual power inputs. This product is so powerful that we have to use two AC adapters actually on it. Check out the bottom. Tons of airflow coming in here to keep everything cool. 299 watts of total thermal design power are inside this system in the, uh, combined between the CPU and the GPU. So we have to have a lot of air intake on the bottom, on the sides, even on the top underneath the LCD, we have air intakes as well. And then they're all, ex all the heat is exhausted here out the rear. Um, really cool design, as you can see with this uh, hexagon pattern that we have. You know, Alienware systems are always loud and proud, so you get your A51 to tell the world that you bought the absolute best Alienware that's available out there. You look in the inside and got the narrow border panel, which really reduces the size and the footprint of this product considerably. Like I said, 32% smaller, 17-inch um, display, 144 hertz, so you're going to get the gaming performance that you want in there. We're going to be introducing other resolutions in the future, but we're so, um, we're so early to market with a narrow border 17-inch product. This was the only panel that was available at the time because we're one of the first 17-inch narrow border systems that's out there. But you get really good performance out of this panel, low response time, great color gamut. It's an absolutely gorgeous panel for gaming. Your full RGB keyboard, it's got beautiful lighting animations, it's per key RGB LED and you can completely customize the keyboard however you'd like. And then you've got your illuminated touchpad as well. It turns on when you touch it, stays on for a little while and then it turns off when it's not active. Down here, Toby Eye Recognition. So our Toby Eye Tracker has been seamlessly integrated right below the LCD. There's no bulge or anything. It's very, very seamless, it looks very elegant. And you can use that to track your reaction time in games, compare that against other esports athletes. It'll know and, uh, when you're in front of the system or not, so it can control power settings accordingly. And there's a bunch of games, over 50 games out there that you can use eye tracking in to help you improve your gameplay and give you a, a more immersive experience. Different color, of course. We have it both in this lunar light color. We also have a dark color that we call Dark Side of the Moon, which is pretty cool. Well, it's very cool. Do you have a price point and release window for this? Yeah, so uh, you'll be able to get it at the end of this month with a RTX 2070 for about $2,500. And then when we launch uh, other GPUs like the 2060 and others over time, then you'll see the price points come down. Um, even as low as we're looking at maybe $2,100. Sweet. And yeah, it seems like a pretty good investment if you can go around and upgrade it and, you know, it'll keep you going for a while there. I mean, it's a desktop in a form factor that you can close it and kind of take it with you wherever you want to go. A comparison, the uh, Alienware Aurora, for example, weighs 35, 40 pounds, and you know, it's a big hunking box, and this thing performs similarly to it. Yeah, yeah that's very reasonable. I'm out of shape. It's, it's the beginning of the year. What can I tell you? I got to hit the gym, and we got to hit the rest of the CES show floor. Frank, thank you so much for chatting. We have tons more CES coming up, so keep it right here on IGN.